Alright, so good day everyone. So in this video, I'm going to uh, uh, answer uh, one of the questions from our uh, subscriber. So he commented from uh, our previous uh, video, how to convert construction line to tackle structure element using the grasshopper. So he mentioned here, the, he, he asked here about, uh, about the curve beam. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a very simple script to uh, convert the uh, construction curb line or polyline to a tecla structure element using the grasshopper component as well. So um, from the uh, previous video, we created that one using the uh, construction line, a straight line. So this time we're going to uh, create the script for the curb and polycurb. All right, so let's move on to our uh, um, software. So on the left side, you will find the, uh, you will see the uh, grasshopper canvas. And then on the right side, you will see the previous example that we have created in Tecla Structure. So first, let's create the, uh, the curve polyline or curve arc line. Okay, so using this arc, so just simply click one and two, so you have now the uh, curve uh, construction line. And then uh, let's use the uh, poly curve and then use the tangent one and then pick one, two, and then three. So as you can see here, we have now the S curve. But uh, remember, these two construction uh, curve are two different have two different properties <clears throat> so uh, in our script we need to create something like an if condition uh, enable for us to create uh, one uh, grasshopper file and use for this uh, two different uh, curb construction line okay so let's get started so uh, from the uh, grasshopper canvas just simply uh, uh, open or uh, yeah, so go to this Tecla 2022 tab and then look for the uh, uh, parameters here. And then under this parameter, you will find the construction arc and then add that one to the canvas. So construction arc is for this. And then another thing is add the construction polycurve. So this one. So this construction polycurve curve is for this uh, uh, item. <clears throat> Alright, so let's uh, read this one. Right click and then set one tecla arc and then click on this and then there you go. So this is the, uh, if you select that one, it will be selected on the tecla structure. And then for the uh, polycurve, again right click and then set one tecla polycurve and, sele and select the polycurve. Yes, there you go. Now, enabled for us to uh, use this one, these two. Okay, as an if condition, then we need to add a stream. We type here stream, stream gate, okay, or a stream filter. All right, so if you notice here, I have a, a stream zero, stream one. It, it could be more, but at this point of time, I, I need to use only two. So meaning stream zero and then stream one. Okay, so to see the, the, uh, the outcome of this one, I need to add here a, a, a toggle, toggle boolean or boolean toggle. So here you can see that there is a true and false. Double click and then you have this uh, true and false and then just simply uh, link that one to the gate. And then here enable for us to check uh, which one is true and which one is false. Just simply add a panel here and then link this stream filter here. So as you can see here, if it is false, then it will be a Tecla arc. So this one is the Tecla arc. And then if it is true, then it will be a polycurve. So meaning, uh, using this uh, toggle, you can uh, you can select that one or if, if it is a Tecla curve or polycurve or Tecla arc or polycurve. So now we can just simply add a uh, curve here. Just double click and then type your curve. And there you go. So link that one to the curve. And now we're going to create 
or get the profile from Tecla Structure. So for the profile, we can use now the uh, uh, this profile catalog. All right, and then we have this uh, uh, position, and then we have this attributes. So we link the profile catalog to the uh, profile. And then we select a beam here. It's either a steel beam or a concrete beam. So let's uh, use the concrete beam here for in this example. So now with what we're going to do is uh, in the profile catalog, we can just simply specify the profile that we want to use. Let's say we create a, uh, a beam, a concrete beam, uh, which is, uh, let's say, 800 by 500. All right. And then... The position here, we link to the position, and then this part attributes, we link to the attributes here. There you go. So now, let's start uh, linking our curve to this uh, beam. So as you can see here, this one now is true, so meaning, okay, let's change this one to false first, so, so that um, if we link this one to the curve here, look what will happen. See? Let's use the curve here. And then... If I double click on this uh, toggle, it will go to this uh, poly curve. Okay, so if you notice, this one is a very simple uh, script that you can create a, uh, a, a curve beam using the poly line or poly curve or poly uh, line arc. All right, so now uh, what we're going to do next is uh, we can just simply uh, uh, change this one or save this one. Okay, save the documents to curve profile. Okay, so I save that one to our documents. And now, what we're going to do is we can now use the grasshopper component. So let's say here, maybe I'll just simply add another uh, arc here quickly. And then another uh, poly curve. All right, and then let's use now the grasshopper component. So in the grasshopper component, as you can see here, all right. So as you can see, uh, you can uh, you can see the the toggle here, false, and then the profile. Let's say for example, we create a wall. Let's say uh, uh, three thousand three thousand by two hundred. All right, and then apply. So if you notice here, if I if we apply this one, and then as you can see, if this one is false, here if you click the grasshopper component, it will see you you it will tell you to pick pick construction arc. Okay, so construction arc is this, not this one. So click on this one, and there you go. So that's the wall. So now if I change this one to true, and then apply, and then click on the grasshopper component. It will, okay, again, apply, and then pick the grasshopper component. Oh, in, let's interrupt first. So as you can see here, true must be, actually true must be, pick construction curve. There you go. So it will be a construction curve. So that's how you create the, uh, uh, a simple script, okay, simple script to create or to convert the uh, poly curve construction line or uh, arc construction line to a ta tecla structure element. So here, if I double click on this one, okay, it is false. Then if I change this one to, uh, let's say, uh, edge section, select, and then use the I section, W, Okay, and then modify. As you can see here, it become a steel beam. As well as this one, copy. So this one, and then paste. And there you go. So you have now the steel beam, a curved steel beam. Okay, so this is uh, how it works, and I hope... Uh, it answers your question. Thank you.